In part 1 of this tutorial, I showed you how to make basic bread dough. Now in this part, I am going to show you the different things you can make with it. Prepare the basic bread dough from part 1 of this tutorial. Cover and allow to rise for 1.5 to 2 hours. This is how the dough looks after it has risen. Um, I have used a smaller bowl than I should have, so the dough is peeking out. Punch the dough down and divide it into two parts. With one part, I'll show you how to make sesame knots and with the other, cinnamon rolls. For the sesame knots, I have kneaded in a handful of black sesame seeds into the dough. I have divided the dough into 10 fairly equally sized balls. To form the knots, first take a ball and roll it into a long tube. Use both your hands to wrap the center part of the tube around your fingers with both the ends sticking out. Form a knot by taking one end of the tube behind the roll and in through the hole towards the front. Tuck the ends in neatly. It's actually much easier than it sounds. Uh, just try a couple of knots and you'll get the hang of it. Place the sesame knots on a baking sheet covered with aluminum foil uh, with a small gap between each knot. Now for the cinnamon rolls, take the remaining half of the dough and roll it out on a clean surface. In a small bowl, mix together 3 tablespoons of dark brown sugar and 1.5 and tablespoons of cinnamon powder. Roll the dough out into an elongated triangle. You can grease the counter a bit with oil to ensure it doesn't stick. Sprinkle all the cinnamon and brown sugar mixture onto the rolled out dough and uh, spread it out neatly. Start from one end of the rectangle and gently roll up the dough. If some of the cinnamon brown sugar mixture comes out of the edges, it's no problem. You can uh, scoop it up and put it back into the roll. After forming the roll completely, gently squeeze the roll and uh, move it around on the countertop to pick up any remaining powder. Carefully and gently slice the roll into about 7 or 8 pieces. Carefully lift and place the pieces of the cinnamon rolls on the same baking tray as the sesame seed knots. Carefully slide the tray into a plastic bag ensuring that the dough does not come in contact with it and tuck the open end of the bag under the tray. After about one and a half to two hours, this is how much the dough should have risen and all the rolls and buns must be touching each other. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and put the tray in and bake the rolls for half an hour. Enjoy your delicious homemade sesame seed knots and sweet, sweet, sweet cinnamon rolls.